So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and then type in task manager. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you're going to click on run new task. And then you want to take create this task of administrative privileges and then click on browse. Now once you're on this, you're going to click on this PC. Then we're going to click on our C drive. Then you want to scroll down and click on Windows. Then you want to scroll down again and then click on System32. Now you want to look for CMD. So we're going to scroll down until we find CMD. Here it is. Here it is, cmd.exe. You want to double click on it, which will then make it appear here. Now we're going to put a space and then type in dash dash updates and then click on OK. Now, once you're on this, we're going to type in GP update space forward slash force and then click on enter. Now, for the next step, you're going to head over to search and then type in sysdm.cpl and click on enter. And now, once you're on this, we're going to click on the advanced tab. And now, once you're on this, you're going to click on settings and then you're going to click on data execution prevention. And now, you're going to select to turn on DEP for all programs and then click on add. And then from here, you want to add the application that is not working for you. Now, once you've added the application, you want to click on apply. It's going to ask you to restart your computer, but don't do it yet to complete the next steps in the video. Now, for the next step, you want to head over to search and then type in check for updates. Click on it. Now, once you're on this, you want to click on check for updates and do the updates your computer may have. Now, once you do that, for the next step, you want to head over to search and then type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Now, once you're on this, we're going to type in SFC space forward slash scan now and then click on enter. And now, once you've completed this scan right here and the Windows update scan, you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed. 